Hi everyone, my name is Arvin Olano and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, nobody asked, but welcome back to the vlog. So I'm actually about to leave. I'm gonna go to the strip. I am going to the Venetian Hotel to meet someone very special. She actually has her own vintage shop on Instagram. Also, I'm having the worst breakout. I think it's because I haven't been sleeping lately. I don't wanna go too close to the camera. It's so bad. I really feel like because my schedule is still kind of adjusting with marble, Andrew and I only get about five to six hours of sleep at night. And in the middle of the night, we wake up because we have to take him to pee, stuff like that. Anyway, I ordered some reinforcements. I got the zit killer from amazon it's supposed to be really good it has like micro needle technology let me know down in the comments if you've tried pimple patches because i used to break out a lot you guys like a lot and this is just taking me back to when i used to have really bad cystic breakouts and it's not fun we are going to be talking about lots of home decor this weekend so make sure you watch all the way to the end of the video because i am actually I have my eye on this very specific vintage piece and I'm not sure if we're picking it up this weekend or next. However, if we are, I might show you what it is. So, let's go. So I just met Lisa of Centered Style. It's a small vintage shop on Instagram. I actually purchased a vintage item from them and they happen to be coming to Vegas this weekend. So we actually just met up really quick at the valet registration here at Venetian. She's here with family, but she came through with my large box. You guys, this is so big. I can't wait to show you what is in here. I'm going to tag their socials down below in the description box because you guys, they are a gold mine, okay? By the way, let me know in the comments if you enjoy like home decor vlogs like this or if you prefer like a specific video, for example, um, like a specific home goods video, let me know. <laughs> Do you guys see this box? It's huge. Okay, I can't wait to show you what's in here. Hold on, hold on. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, by the way, don't mind the house. It's kind of a mess. I've been redecorating as per usual, but let me show you what's in here. Marble is here to join me. Hello, little guy. You guys, look at Marble. He has grown like twice his size since we got him and I don't want him to keep growing. Can you stop growing? Can you just relax and just be a puppy? Oh my God. Okay, come here. Stay right there. Be a good boy. I'm gonna start with the smaller items first and let me get this first one. Okay, so this first item is a vintage found wooden bowl and this thing is heh. V. It's so substantial, it's solid wood, and it is stunning. I mean, these next two items are probably the most beautiful beads that I have ever seen. Now, I will say, you can buy beads anywhere, right? You, you can find them at home goods, you can maybe find them at Target, but these are artisan-made beads. So this white one was all handmade and carved out of bone by artisans in Kenya, and when I say it's heavy, it is, oh, can I wear it? Bitch, yes. Decor and jewelry. Oh my gosh, this thing is heavy. Marble, it is heavy. So stunning, and look how good this would be on a bowl, okay? And the black one is, again, artisan made, wooden beads, so beautiful on the bowl. The next item actually is so nice, and it is an African star pod. Now, I believe it's kind of like a dried, floral and it grows like on a little tree but look how stunning that is it's like a sculptural piece and what's great is you can even put it on your bowl excuse me marble you can put it on top of your bowl as a bowl filler let me put this away and let me show you what's inside that large box okay i am not ready for what is inside this 
box. I gotta be careful because it has fragile written all over it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, do you see a little peek? Do you guys see it? This is the biggest vintage vessel I have ever seen. I'm almost certain that vintage Chinese water jugs water vessels and what I love about it is it has a really wide mouth <laughs> that means you can put a tree in here you can put some pompous some really great floral moments are you having fun oh I bet you are having fun wow you guys I am going to link centered style down below in the description box okay the description box is a gold mine of resources and Centered Style has some of the best vessels, all sizes. This one is the extra large, and I feel like their prices are really, really good in comparison to a lot of bigger brands. So make sure you check them out. Give them a follow on Instagram and tell them that I sent you. Wait, I forgot to do a head test. Hold on. Let's do a head test. Let's style these babies up. Let's go. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Trees will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope So I just did a quick um, arrangement of my florals that I already have and I put it inside a glass vessel and then I put it inside the large vessel just to give you an idea of like what you could do you could do pompous you could do a tree in there but to give you an idea of like the scale right now it's on my console it's not gonna stay there I'm, I'm gonna link everything down below I'm not sure if she has any more of the extra large vessels still but I know they come in um, a few different sizes hello Gingy do you like the vessel I just changed into something that is comfy cozy and I actually don't buy clothing on Amazon that often, actually, at all. However, I am wearing this um, long sleeve t-shirt or long sleeve sweater. I would say it's a long sleeve t-shirt from Amazon and it is the most comfortable thing. I'm gonna link it down below. I actually, um, I actually got one of the t-shirts that Julia Havens recommended on her channel and I love the t-shirt so much that I had to try out the long sleeve version. This is the perfect comfy tee to wear at home, go to sleep in. I got it in a size large and in the color sandstone. I also like the color khaki. I would actually get a extra large to make it even more comfortable. Andrew's making some butter chicken. We're about to just relax. It is a nice kind of gloomy day, which we really love. So we're just gonna enjoy, relax, and have a good time. Hi everyone, it is the following day. My pimple is still here, so rude, and my patches have not come in yet. Anyway, we are picking up a very special whew, vintage piece today, and I cannot believe I stumbled upon this. I was actually going to source it for my mom. However, we kind of fell in love with it when we saw it in person. So I don't know if it's going to make it into the house just yet. So we are going to pick it up today. It's extremely heavy. We probably need like four or five people to even bring it into the house. Andrew is still at work. So while I wait for Andrew, I'm going to take you to Home Goods and show you what's available, what's new, and just kind of give you a rundown on what I would buy this season. I'm not going to go over holiday decor yet because I know you're waiting for a video and I'm working on one. That will be up in the next couple of weeks, but you know that I love showing you what to buy, what not to buy here on my channel, especially at Home Goods. Oh, I forgot to say that I am working on something really special with Centered Style, so make sure that you follow along on Instagram for any announcements because if you are local, you might really like this. Oh my 
my gosh, this little stand reminds me so much of like a Jonathan Adler piece. I actually bought one of these a long time ago from Home Goods. I don't have it now because I don't have room for her. I wonder how much she is. Doesn't have a price, but could be cute as a plant stand. Okay, lots of large sculptures. It's $39.99, not exactly my style, but if you've been looking, they're really heavy and good quality. Oh, I'm liking these little lidded jars. $4.99, so good. How cute, I love the color and the texture. This vessel is nice too, I like the color. Cute, how much are you? Okay, $24.99, not bad. Oh, here's a matching vessel down here. She's a little bit bigger, $29.99. Kind of like an interesting shape. Hmm. Okay, this location still has so much coffee table books. I love this one, this Italy one. So nice. I don't see any sort of designer books. This is where I find like all my Chanel books, the Louis Vuitton books. Um, what's down here? What's that? A thousand places to see before you die. Okay, Patricia. Thanks, Queen. Oh, I love this one. Horses of Iceland. You guys know I'm all about a good equestrian themed anything, really. How much is she? Oh, it's heavy. Oh, she's $60. Oh, no, no, no. Putting her back. Oh, no, 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 no. We are not buying glass flowers from Home Goods. Okay, these look so bad. If you want glass pieces, go vintage because these are just so basic. Absolutely not. No, 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 no. Oh, I like her. Look at her curves. This reminds me of a CB2 vessel that has been sold out for ages. How much are you? $24.99. Okay. Not bad. I don't need her, but if you do, keep a lookout for her. Oh, really? Adventure awaits in a birdhouse? I don't think so. <laughs> oh my gosh, these are so bad, you guys. Ooh, the Dunn Fund? We are done with Dunn, okay? Okay, you know I always avoid this brass section because they all look so cheap. Look at this. It just looks like it's been painted. This looks so lightweight and chintzy. And we are not putting hearts on a pedestal for our decor. However, this little guy, if you have like a masculine office and you're looking for some good decor, this, sh this thing is heavy as hell. It's $49.90. It's a really good quality. And love that one. Oh my god, the shape is so good. It's $139. Estate and it's Hudson Valley lighting. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I just found those lamps. When you manifest things that you want to find, I feel like they end up at Home Goods, I swear to you. So if you've been looking for some lamps, check out your local store. They have a lot of stuff right now. Like, oh my gosh, look at this gray one. That's a nice one. By the way, I returned the stone lamps that I got because they just didn't work out. Everyone on Instagram was kind of divided and I felt the same way. I just kind of like, it wasn't, oh, that's a nice mirror. Okay, look at that large gold mirror. I think it's, okay, it's 70 inches high and it's $99, not bad. Quality is not bad. Oh, here's what I'm wearing today, super casual. On top, I have an Isabel Morant knit kind of like sweater super baggy jeans because I want to be comfortable and some fur slippers because it's cold outside. Love this round mirror. I think it's made of like a woven rope. So chic. If you have a coastal home, $99. Oh my gosh. So good. Oh my gosh. Help me. I'm scared. No, absolutely not. So I love coming to this location because everyone knows me as far as like the managers and workers and they're all so nice. They make my day every time I come here. I feel so welcomed even though I'm filming because if you've been following me for a while, um, one time this girl went up to me and was like, excuse me, sir, you can't film. And since I worked in retail, I was like, oh, okay, I'm so sorry. I'm just like, you know, filming it for YouTube. Oh, that's a cute little cup. Ooh, wine glasses made in Italy, you guys. Okay, handcrafted glassware. We love to see that. Oh, they 
feel nice and heavy. That's a nice weight, you guys. Oh my gosh, can you imagine if I dropped all of these? That would be so embarrassing. <gasps> these pillows are kind of everything. They're so Bottega Veneta. Wow. That is stunning. Ooh, is this cute for marble? I like how small it is. Wait, or does it look like poop? <laughs> I think it looks like a little piece of poop, but it does look cozy. He could like crawl in there and just go to bed. I wish it was a different color. I even like the knitted pattern. I wish it was more like a beige, not a brown. Hmm. Okay. Oh, they have it in red. Oh god, no, not red. Blue? Oh no, Marvel's not into blue. Marvel's not into blue, he's not into red, he's only into neutrals, okay? <laughs> okay, everyone, I just got home and I only picked up one item from home goods today because I feel like when I'm there I'm very selective now with the things that I buy because I feel like I bought so much stuff before that I don't even use now however I will say the item that I did pick up is oh my gosh so heavy and it is a Hudson Valley lamp and this thing is absolutely gorgeous it's so sculptural it actually reminds me of a Kelly Wurstler lamp that I've seen on um online and even though it has kind of like a modern lampshade it's gorgeous like a beautiful linen i'm actually going to switch it out to an empire shaped lampshade because it has more of like a sculptural vibe and i think it'll match nicely with the shape of the lamp now i do have a sad sad story i when i was loading up my lamps the wind was actually blowing really hard and i don't know why I put one of the lamps on the cart seat. Totally my bad, but the wind blew so hard that the lamp tipped over, fell on the freaking parking lot, and the top part that holds the shade actually broke right off. But I think it could be fixed. I showed Andrew, and I think it's fine. I'm going to try to repair it because it's stunning. This Hudson Valley lamp goes for about $400 online and I got it for 130 each. Now, I feel like I'm starting to collect lamps now, which is absolutely insane. It's just so good and actually a lot of you guys have DM'd me when I shared my friend's photo online, she actually found the same one, that you guys found the same lamp like a few weeks ago. So if you're on the lookout for a new table lamp, this is like a must have, such a good designer find. And that's why I love home goods. The pieces that are still in my house that I'm still using are the designer finds. So like my lamps, my rugs, my, I forgot what else, my large geodes. It's those large pieces that I'm keeping here in my home that I still love. So we actually picked up our vintage piece and it took so many people to put it into Andrew's truck. I'll show you a photo. And now we're waiting for his friends to come over so that we can bring it in. However, it's not gonna be until later. So. You're gonna have to find out on Instagram or in my next video if you want to see what it was. That is it for me today. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you sound off in the comments down below. You know I love chatting with you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone! Mm -hmm.